Hi, and welcome back. So a new study, the largest of its kind, has set out new targets for the daily step count and the optimal number of steps required per day to reduce the risk of death from cardiovascular disease, but also for all causes. Too enough waffling off me. Let's jump into the presentation. Let's see what this new huge study has got to offer. This is a review of a piece I read that was penned by the European Society of Cardiology that looked into the largest study of its kind that was published in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology, which set out to find the optimal number of steps required to lower the risk of dying specifically from cardiovascular disease, but also from other causes. And there are links in the description below to the studies and to the articles I used to put this presentation together. As you may know, if you watch my previous step count presentations, you'll know that 10,000 steps a day is not a scientifically derived number. In all cases, studies have shown beneficial numbers are all less than 10,000 steps a day. And now the number of steps you should take every day to start seeing benefits to your health is also lower than previously thought. This is according to the largest analysis conducted to date. So this latest study published in the European Journal of Preventive Cardiology found that walking at least 3,967 steps a day started to reduce the risk of dying from any cause and only 2,337 steps a day reduce the risk of dying from cardiovascular disease. This new analysis of 226,889 people from 17 different studies from around the world has shown the more you walk, the greater the health benefits. An increase of 1,000 steps a day was associated with a 15% reduction in the risk of dying from any cause and an increase of just 500 steps a day was associated with a 7% reduction in dying from cardiovascular disease. Now, in line with the previous studies that I've covered, the researchers also found that if you were to walk more than the low numbers already discussed, the health benefits continue to increase. And as with the other studies, they have not found an upper or maximum limit just yet. Professor Maciej Banach from the Department of Preventive Cardiology and Lipidology at the Medical University of Łódź in Poland said, our study confirms that the more you walk, the better. We found that this applied to both men and women, irrespective of age and irrespective of whether you live in a temperate, subtropical or subpolar region of the world or a region with a mixture of climates. In addition, our analysis indicates that as little as 4,000 steps a day are needed to significantly reduce deaths from any cause and even fewer to reduce deaths from cardiovascular disease. There is obviously strong evidence that a sedentary lifestyle contributes to an increase in cardiovascular disease and a shorter life. Studies have shown that insufficient physical activity affects more than a quarter of the world's population and more women than men, 32% versus 23, and people in higher income countries when compared to those who are from lower income countries. According to World Health Organization data, insufficient physical activity is the fourth most frequent cause of death in the world, with 3.2 million deaths a year related to physical inactivity. The pandemic also resulted in a reduction in physical activity and two years after activity levels had still not fully recovered. Dr. Ibadet Bidesi from the University Clinical Center of Kosovo and senior author of the paper said, until now, it's not been clear what the optimal number of steps, both in terms of cutoff points over which we can start to see health benefits and the upper limit, if any, and the role this plays in people's health. However, I should emphasize 
that there was limited data available on step counts up to 20,000 a day. And so these results need to be confirmed in larger groups of people. This meta-analysis is the first not only to assess the effect of walking up to 20,000 steps a day, but also to look at whether there are any differences depending on age, sex or where in the world people live. The studies analysed by the researchers followed up participants for an average of seven years. The average age of the participants was 64 and 49% of them were female. In people aged 60 or older, the size of the reduction in risk of death was smaller than those who were younger than 60. In those over 60, there was a 42% reduction in risk for those who walked between 6,000 and 10,000 steps a day, while there was a 49% reduction in risk in those younger than 60, and they walked between 7,000 and 13,000 steps every day. Professor Banach stated, in a world where we have more and more advanced drugs to target specific conditions such as cardiovascular disease, I believe we should always emphasize that lifestyle changes, including diet and exercise, which was the main hero of our analysis, might be at least as or even more effective in reducing cardiovascular risk and prolonging lives. Professor Banach went on to say, we still need good studies to investigate whether these benefits may exist for intensive types of exertion, such as marathon running and Ironman challenges, and in different populations of different ages and with different associated health problems. However, it seems that, as with pharmacological treatments, we should always think about personalising lifestyle changes. The strength of this meta-analysis includes its size and that it was not restricted to looking only at studies limited to a maximum of 16,000 steps a day. Limitations include that it was an observational study and so cannot prove that increased step counts caused the reduction in the risk of death, only that it is associated with it. And the impact of step counts was not tested on people with different diseases. All the participants were generally healthy when they entered their respective studies. Well, I hope you found that interesting or informative, hopefully both. So a huge study that, in my humble opinion, just comes out with the average of all the others, somewhere between 4,000 and 6,000 steps per day. Um, that's the reason I've changed my uh, target for the day as being 5,000 steps a day. Uh, sometimes I don't hit that. Sometimes I go well over that. Um, so I'm looking on the average of five, I've got that on my app, looking for the average of 5,000 steps a day over the month. Let me know if you see something different or new or interesting in this particular study, because I don't. It just seems to confirm what all the other studies say, which is between four and 6,000 will give you X or Y reduction in the chance of cardiovascular disease uh, risk or also all-cause all mortality. Um, and again, they've still got that get out clause of, but the more you do, the better. Um, the reason I harp on about 10,000 not being scientifically based in fact, although these people are saying the more the better, so 10,000 10, will be a good target to aim for. Some people see 10,000 as not achievable, so they don't even try to achieve that. We're actually between four and 6,000 is probably going to be achievable for most people, so it's something that they could aspire to try and hit. Um, that's it for today. As always, please take care, stay safe, and I will see you soon. Bye for now.